Good morning, everyone. I just wanted to take uh, a couple short minutes this morning while we were drinking coffee here. We've got Mr. Mac, and to fill everyone in, um, Little Snap has gone home to her forever home, so she won't be in any of the videos anymore. And Mac is now, uh, uh, formerly known as Rocket, is now Mac, and he'll be referred to as that from now on. Um, we're just putting a little bit of emphasis on place training and that being a good thing for a puppy. I gave him a little chew bone this morning to keep uh, him occupied and focused. Um, and we're just helping him to stay on his bed. There's no really, there's not really any command here or cue other than the fact that he's focused on this bone. Um, I'm sitting here just a couple feet away from him. If he comes off of his dog bed, I just help him back on there and allow him to continue chewing on his bone. Um, it's not like he's going to stay here forever or even understands that he's supposed to really stay here, but we are developing the behavior of chewing on his dog bone on the bed. It's also a little easier to keep up with the cleanup side of things. Some of the bones can be a little messy and then it's not on the carpet or on the couch or anything else. It's just right there on the dog bed. These are Karanda dog beds and they come with these, or you can order these little slip covers for them. Um, normally they would just be the PVC bed here, but then that comes off really easy and can be washed. So we will just keep an eye on Mac so that we can uh, help to continue to develop this. <laughs> He's really enjoying that bone. He is chewing on a, are they called smart chews? Yep. Okay. They are a, a little, a, it's like a hard formed bone that looks like different animals and stuff like that. I think we picked these up at PetSmart or Petco. You can also order them on Amazon. I will find them and copy them in the, in the comments below, but that is a smart chew. He's loving it. They work great for puppies because they last long enough that um, it keeps them occupied for a little while, but not so long that they get bored with them. Um, they definitely do not last long for the adult dogs. If you give it to one of the one of the adult dogs, I think it lasts like three crunches and it's gone. But it does work really well for little puppies like like Mac here. And he's done a really good job staying here. Um, to start off with, he wanted to lay on the floor there to chew on his bone. And all we did was help him back on. So now I'm going to actually lead him off so that I can lead him back on. So he wants to take that chew bone with him. Good. And then we're just gonna help him back on the bed and allow him to lay down and chew on it. If he were to come off again, we would just grab him help lead him back on there. And this is this is just developing this behavior of, if I get a chew bone, I'm gonna go lay on my bed and stay there with it. Um, we're not using force or pressure or anything negative here. It's just developing a behavior. But that is all we're gonna do this morning with him. Um, again, these videos are gonna show kind of how we develop puppies. Everybody always wants to know what we should be doing and um, there are a lot of things to help develop your puppy into what you want to see as an adult and really that's what we're about. Um, anything that we can do to help develop our puppies to be the dogs that we want to see them as as adults. So this is Ethan and uh, Mac signing off. Thanks for tuning in for this short video this morning.